Hi, I'm Stephanie. In this video, I'll walk you through five easy steps to start using FS Pro for Word. If you want to follow along, you can open FS Pro for Word in MS Word. Let's get started. Step one, we want to start our FS Pro for Word document. But when you open FS Pro for Word, you will see that most of the ribbon is still grayed out. To start your document, you can either click on Doc or on Map. Both features will give the same result a map with a map title and three blocks, as you can see right here. This is your structure for creating FS Pro for Word documents in a standardized way. Step two, adding new maps and blocks is easy. You just put your cursor where you want your new map or block to be. Keep in mind that FS Pro for Word is very cursor sensitive. For example, if I want to add a new map under my first map, I put my cursor under the first map, I go to my FS Pro for Word ribbon and I click Map. You will see that a new map gets added under the first map on a new page. This is important because when we start a new map, we're starting a new subject and that happens on a new page. Adding more blocks is just as easy. For example, I want to add a new block between the second and the third block. So I put my cursor here. I go to block in the ribbon and I click block and you will see that my block gets added. Deleting maps and blocks is just as easy. You just put your cursor in the block you want to delete. For example, this one, you go to the arrow under block and you click delete block. There you go. The same thing goes for map. You put your cursor in the map title of the map you want to delete. You go to the arrow under map and you click delete map. Your map is deleted. All right, step three, let's start writing our content. To write your content in your map title, you can highlight your map title and replace it with the content you want to write. The same thing goes for a block. Put your cursor in your block and start writing your content. Okay, each block contains one main idea. This makes it easy for your user to understand your contents. Each block also has a clear block label that we write on the left-hand side. For example, introduction to HR. This is useful for people who are scanning your document, looking for the information they need. They can scan your map titles and your block labels, pick out the information they want to read and skip the information they do not need. For example, when you have a finished document, it could look like this. Here you can see that your readers can easily navigate through your documents, looking for the block labels and the map titles they want to read. Step four, let's take a look at the end of this page. You will see that this block is split between two pages. This is not something we want because that's bad for readability. We solve this with a continue page. We put our cursor after the final complete block. We go to continue in our ribbon and we click it. You will see that it continued on next page is added and our block is completed again on the next page. The map title is repeated so your reader still knows what you're talking about. All right, step five. Now we want to provide an overview for our reader. Let's say our document is getting quite long and we want our reader to easily navigate through our document. That's where we integrate overview maps. We put our cursor in the first map. Keep in mind, FS Pro Forward is very cursor sensitive. We go to section and we click section title with overview map. You will see that we get an introduction block where we can introduce our content in our maps and a topic C page table. This topic C page table can introduce the maps that you're talking about in your document. We can easily update our topic C page table when we put our cursor here and click on table of contents, update topic C page table. FS Pro for Word immediately recognizes that we want to update the topic C page table with map titles. We click OK and the map titles get added together with the corresponding pages. Your reader now knows what they can expect in your documents. All right, you are all set to get started with FS Pro for Word. Please click the next links to see the next videos.